Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered why we love traveling to other countries and continents? Of course, apart from the delicious exotic food and the interesting culture, we are attracted to art monuments. Museums, statues, towers, they're usually a major attraction for tourists around the world. You don't have to be an aspiring architect to admire these stunning buildings. We're not talking about the Colosseum or the Eiffel Tower. There are lots of modern buildings that can amaze you. However, today people are using their construction skills to create buildings that aren't just beautiful, but also practical. Today, we will tell you about the most interesting engineering projects from all over the world. Let's get it on. The Crystal in China this incredible project known as the Horizontal Skyscraper was started only in December 2017, and in just 18 months, they've created something incredible. The crystal is like an indoor bridge between the roof of four towers of the Raffles City complex in the Chinese city of Chongqing. The crystal is 300 meters long, and it's located at an altitude of 250 meters above the ground. In the last few years, China has had a skyscraper boom, but the crystal is exceptional in many ways ways. In addition to its unusual shape, the crystal was built using a completely innovative technology. The fact is that it was assembled on the ground, and once completed, it was raised to a height of several hundred meters. According to the architects, this helped to increase the precision of the work, reduce the negative impact of construction on the environment, and save time. The ascent took place using modern calibration tools, and in close cooperation with China's meteorological service to better analyze the weather conditions. The authors of the project planned to build a swimming pool overlooking the city, an observation deck, hanging gardens, and several restaurants. At night, the horizontal skyscraper, which weighs 52 tons, will illuminate the city sky with a light show. Mose Project, Italy the Italian city of Venice is famous all over the world for its canals, gondolas, bridges, and other attractions. Unfortunately, since the end of the 20th century, the future of Venice has been threatened by the increasing frequency of floods in the region. So, in the 2000s, the Italian government decided to implement an urgent project to protect the city and nearby communities from flooding. <laughs> By the way, there were other attempts to solve this problem. Back in the 16th century, the water magistrate responsible for the condition of the Venetian lagoon was established here. The new protective barrier known as Mose consists of several mobile locks that isolate the Venetian lagoon from the Adriatic Sea. It is a vital construction in times when the water exceeds the permissible level of 110 centimeters as a result of a tide and threatens to flood the entire city. However, the project is not yet fully completed and has been suspended several times. The reasons for this are errors in the calculations. The problem is that the lowest point of Venice is not at 110 centimeters above sea level. In fact, the legendary Piazza San Marco is already flooded when the water rises to 80 centimeters. That's why the barrier system didn't save it from the flooding in 2017, when wooden bridges had to be laid around the square. Hopefully, Italian engineers will improve the construction and put it into full operation in order to save the rich culture cultural heritage of this amazing Italian city. The Cable Free Elevator, Germany What's the biggest fear of a claustrophobic person in an elevator? Probably that the lift will get stuck and they'll have to sit there for hours. Well, or that the cable will break, but that's probably something we're all afraid of. So in Germany, for the first time in the world, designers have learned to build elevators without cables. How? Using the electromagnetic field force. Thanks to it, this construction, introduced in 2017 by the German company ThyssenKrupp, is able to travel through the floors and corridors of the building, both vertically and horizontally, and the speed of the cabins reaches 160 kilometers per hour. By the way, the innovative magnetic cushion technology is also used for passenger transportation. Trains use electromagnetic force to move without touching the surface of the rails and develop a speed comparable to that of a commercial plane. The designers of the incredible elevator hope that in the near future, this technology will be used in high-rise buildings around the world. And it's not just about passenger convenience, but also about new opportunities for architects. After all, if elevators don't need cables, they won't have to plan buildings with only vertical elevator shafts. Thanks to this invention, the appearance of future buildings and entire cities can change completely. Nevertheless, it should be noted that this system, of course, costs about five times more than usual. Fast Telescope, China 
If you don't know a thing about astronomy, you won't know at first sight what this bowl-like futuristic structure is. In fact, it's the world's largest telescope, capable of picking up radio signals from billions of light years away. It consists of 10,000 steel cables, which form something like a huge web, and can help humanity to advance significantly in the study of the nature of the universe and extraterrestrial civilizations. For the first time, the initiative to build a giant radio telescope was proposed by Chinese specialists in 1994, but the project began only in 2011. After several years of continuous work, in 2016 in the Chinese province of Guizhou, this incredible construction was finally opened. Its area is equal to 30 soccer fields. To date, FAST is China's most expensive astronomical project. It cost the state $180 million. Solar Farm, China it is known that every year about a million Chinese people die from air pollution. The main reason is the act of extraction and processing of coal. In addition, China is also considered the world's largest producer of greenhouse gases. Nevertheless, in recent years, the Chinese government has decided to allocate huge sums of money to the development of alternative energy sources throughout the country. One of the most important results of this green revolution is the construction of a huge solar farm in the Anhui province. This monumental construction consists of 165,000 solar panels. They generate enough energy to supply a large city with electricity. In addition, the farm replaces the use of 16,500 tons of coal each year and saves the planet from emitting more than a ton of sulfur oxide and 49,000 tons of carbon dioxide. The most amazing thing about this project is that it's a floating farm. It provides great advantages in use too. Firstly, higher productivity, and secondly, lower cost of cleaning the panels. Yangtze Ship Lift, China so, let's answer the question, why do people need elevators for ships at all? The answer is obvious. Since the Earth's surface is not flat, the entrance and the exit of ship channels are often at different heights. Throughout its history, mankind has solved this problem in different ways, but nowadays there are special constructions for this purpose, ship lifts. The largest of them is located at the Three Gorges hydroelectric power plant on the Chinese Yangtze River. It lifts the ships to a height of 113 meters. We understand that it's difficult to picture it without understanding the shipping industry, so just watch. Tesla Gigafactory, US it's no secret that the hero of the 21st century, Elon Musk, has always been ahead of the game. Three years ago, his company Tesla opened its first lithium-ion battery plant in the American state of Nevada. It cost the company about $5 billion. Modern lithium-ion batteries produced at the Gigafactory can be used not only for cars, but also at home. Such batteries, known as Powerwall, allow people to produce clean energy, be energy independent, and save money. By the way, lithium-ion batteries are also also used by the world-famous Apple company in its newest devices. It's believed that such batteries charge faster, last longer, and have more power. It's thanks to these batteries that many smartphones have received the so-called fast charging function. Gotthard Base Tunnel, Switzerland this railway tunnel in Switzerland is considered the longest in the world. The project was developed for more than 50 years. Its construction began in 2001, and the tunnel was finally opened in 2017. It runs under the San Gotthard Massif in the Swiss Alps, connecting the northern and southern parts of the country. However, that's not its main purpose. In fact, the Gotthard Tunnel connects the two largest ports in Europe too, Rotterdam in the Netherlands and Genoa in Italy. This completely revolutionized the transport industry on the European continent, because a million trucks a year now don't have to ride the Alpine roads. The trains inside this tunnel are super modern and can reach an incredible speed of up to 250 km per hour. The construction process is also quite interesting. The tunnel was laid through 73 different types of hard rock. Special vehicles crushed the rock using a huge wheel, crushed fragments for concrete mortar, and covered the walls of the tunnel with steel sheets, passing about 9 meters a day. And the final length of the tunnel is just over 57 kilometers. 
the Panama Canal, Panama. Experts all over the world consider this construction a wonder and an engineering masterpiece. In fact, there were plans to connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans in the bottleneck of the Isthmus of Panama back in the 16th century. The Spanish royalty wanted to implement this project to send Inca gold from the newly discovered New World to the Old World. However, the canal was not built until 350 years later, in 1914. In order to understand the scale of the work done, it's enough to say that the project involved of more than 75,000 workers. Sadly, 20,000 died under the rubble and from tropical diseases. Today, more than a million tons of cargo pass through this transport artery annually. That's about 5% of the world's cargo traffic. The construction of the Panama Canal marked a completely new era. For example, the 19,500-kilometer route from New York to Ecuador around the continent was reduced by more than three times. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.